that's never good. <laughs> that's never good. Imagine hearing that at 3 o'clock in the morning. I had to throw this thing on there here to catch this water. I had to throw a rag on it there just to uh, get it situated. But um, cut this water off here. Flush it, get the water out of there. And I'm going to try to think there's a gasket that's in between here. So I'm going to have to take this whole entire thing off and um, go from there. So get all the water out of there and um, try to get this thing fixed. All right, so trying to get all the water out. Got this thing open up as much as I possibly can. And you know, still got some sitting water on there. So I'm gonna try to get this all out because I have, as you can see, one. And this is how you, how you can tell how many screws you have in there. I have one, two, three screws that's holding the water, uh, the water uh, holder for the toilet bowl in place. So I'm gonna, I have already sprayed the bolts down. Let's see. Um, this one on the here and this one here and one in the back I don't know if y'all can see it so get this thing off get the well get the water out first and um, if you can put some plastic around you know to get as much water as you can and um try to get as much water as you possibly can out of it and um, try to get this thing off and see if we can run to the hardware store and get a gasket all right so as you can see I have water in here so I'm just trying to I guess fish some of this water out as best as I possibly can and what I'm gonna do is just grab a bucket here a thing here this was Something that I had it sitting on it there. And just gonna grab an old, something old, and just kinda suck the water up. So I'm gonna get all this water out of here so that way when this thing gets separated, I don't have to worry about water getting all over the floor. All right, so now that I've got the majority of the water out, it's time for me to break these bolts loose. Now on the back end, it's a 13 millimeter. Let me see if we can focus. 13 millimeter. So on here, on these, on this, in the inside part, it has a flat head. So I'm gonna have to hold it with the flathead screwdriver as um, I'm turning the bottom piece. So I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver to hold this thing, then I'll be back. All right. So now that I've gotten uh, the water out, got the flathead, I'm just gonna kinda um, hook it in here. I guess it's probably a good idea to take this piece out. Get around it as best as possible. Get that flathead in there to hold it. Uh, yeah, that's that thing is, is seized up on there so. What I'm probably going to have to do is you try to use a vice grip and just hook it and try to turn it from there. Alright, so I've gotten the vice grip in there and I'm going to test it out. This is on the back one. See how this thing works. Well, so far on 
usually what I try to do, I'm going to need a new one of these soon, this one is crap, is I try to go from hardest to easiest, that's just how, that's just my motto in life, do the hardest things first, and do the easiest stuff after, but I just wanted to see if it would work, so now that I know it works, I'm going to try and do the hardest one, it's not really the hardest one, it's just in a more difficult location. See how that, that works. Alright, so it looks like I might be able to. Let's see if I can get a can figure out what I'm gonna do in order to get a, a closer bite on here, I'm gonna take this piece out. Take this whole toilet apart. All right, y'all. So it looks like I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff out the way. Oh god, damn it! The pay with me. Broke this thing a little bit. At least I got it out the way. So, see how that that heavy utility work. See, grip this. Coming off slowly but surely. And I'm going to take this one all the way off because I don't want the vice grip coming off it again. Yay! Got it. So now I'm just going to get the rest of them and be right back. Oh man. How long these things been out here since the house was made? I mean, the house was built in 1921. God, these things were on there. Finally got all of them loose. So yeah. Boy. Well, I never get the easy job, huh? Yeah. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. I've been waiting to see that line. <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly lift this thing up off of here. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see what else is holding it. Oh, damn. Ugh. I guess not so easy, my friend. Let me show y'all. One last thing you need to remove is this water connection. So make sure the thing is off. I've already cracked it. And you wanna put a, a container so because the water is still red um is still sitting in the the line itself so you pull it apart and yeah so now i'm going to slowly pull it up off over here and see what i need And now, I'll 
turn on the back side of it. All right, y'all. So it has three screws. One, two. Come on, man. Sure, work with me. Three. So you can see these things, the rubber on them was just completely eaten up, eaten up from sitting in that water all that time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Vaseline around the rubbers when I'm putting them in next time, just to kind of give them that extra coating. Okay. Just, you just got to uh, just pry it off. Don't want to make a mess. Just kind of pry it off. Make sure. Yeah, just kind of pry it off because it sits behind this uh, this plastic thing. So I'm going to be replacing this messy thing here. And as you can see, the uh, the rubber on it is like it's it's changed shape. I guess it's worn out after a while. So I wanted to go to my local hardware store because I, I really like that mom and pop kind of business. They're really good service. Uh, I usually go to this uh, hardware store called Hilltop on Ricestown Road and um, Ricestown Road and Rogers Avenue. But it's kind of a drive right now, so I guess I'll be going to Home Depot. So I'll see y'all once I come back. All right. So now we're back to the old one here. This is a new one. Got it from Home Depot. Um, doesn't have a part number on it. But it's a gasket set. And I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit smaller. That is, it should work. But I don't know. You'll see. Now my girlfriend cleaned it up. Cleaned up the... Uh, the water retainer or the, uh, the thing that holds the water and cleaned up around there. Don't worry about that water. That's going to go down eventually on the flush. That's just sitting. So, thanks to her. Thank you. Cool. Um, apparently, I could take this piece off here. I didn't have to pry the, uh, the, the, um, the thing from around it. So, I want to see. If this thing fit first. Alright, so I've got the two. They look kind of different. So, you know, my motto has always been if it won't fit, make it fit. So this was the old one here. Kind of set like, like so. And then this piece would sit on the outside. Like this. And you'll wind it, you'll wind it all the way in. So the new one is it's a lot tighter. I'm guessing they they make it that way. So this thing on here. It's really hard to get on. Got it on there. Get the make sure the the threaded part is on the outside and the flat part sits sits out. So screw it on there. Get this thing tightened up in here. Oops. Like so. Get this on back on here. And I'm gonna wind up changing this piece here because it's so it's so old it 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 uh it cracked on me so I have a new one that's sitting over here on the ground so I'm gonna change that out as soon as I get this uh this all situated so I'm I'm gonna tighten this uh completely back up and tighten it on right here so. Thing is really tight. I was going to put Vaseline on it, but it would have made my hands too slippery. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty tight. I'm just going to get it hand tight. Like so. 
and this piece would is gonna is supposed to go back on on this like this. Then when you pull it, it opens up and let the water out. And also, I got uh, some new bolts with it. It'll be the rubber washer on the inside. I think it's extra washers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these washers on the back side of it also. So this here and this here. And just put it back on slowly. I think I'm gonna uh, put some of the Vaseline where it, um, where it meets the uh, where it meets the toilet itself. So I'm gonna put some of the Vaseline around here. Move never hurt, right? Get on to me. No. Tighten this. No, put it back on there. Slowly. Um. Alright, and now I'm gonna get one washer, one bolt, one box set, I'm about to drop. One washer, one bolt, one washer, one bolt. And I got some uh, some extra bolts here, I know that for sure. <sighs> I'll put them each on. Two. Four, not two of it. Alright, these have the same flat head um, that holds the, uh, yeah, they say this has the same flat head tip um, to, to tighten it, so when you, um, when you under the bottom, you, um, you do the same procedure, so you just grip it with the flat head screwdriver right here, and you tighten it from the bottom. So I'm going to get this tightened up, and then I'm going to come back and change out this piece over here which is the handle here and then um, I'll be right back once I get this thing tightened up yeah so make sure when you go to order the new rubber you take the old one with you because you gotta match them up and them people at Home Depot don't really know much but they try to help you um, so yeah you want to take it and get it measured up and you just gonna you when you tighten in this you want to tighten it as even as possible but so what I'm gonna try to do is get them as snug as possible so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm tighten this one till I get it hand tight and then I'm gonna move over to here and get this one as hand tight as possible then I'm gonna move over to here and get this one as hand tight as possible because I'm trying to get the get it to sit as even as possible so yeah just bear that in mind <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how, how much the torque is, but don't overdo it. So now I've got it in there, nice and tight. So now, just gonna put this on here. Almost similar handle to it. They are kind of cheap, it's like $5 for this. But the thing I like about this one is, it's plastic and this one here, this one is, is metal. And after it sits in the, wa in the water for a while, the chlorine and stuff eats away at the metal. So I guess it, it needs to be changed anyways. Kind of upset I had to spend that extra money, but... OP, old one did come out, came out in pieces. Turns out I was turning it the wrong way. 
but I still would have had to change it anyways because it was uh like I said it was it was cracked right here so eventually it would have broke off but <sighs> it is what it is so I'm gonna put this one on this kind up still screwing it the wrong way and learn how Apparently you gotta screw it backwards and put it on there. Get this thing hand tight. It's moving. Get to catch this back on. Get this back on the water connection. Cut that water back on. Check, make sure nothing is leaking. While it's filling up. So I'm going to come back once it, once it fills up. So it filled up all the way. It flushes okay. It kicks on like it's supposed to. And best of all, first of all, there's no leaks. So there you go. Started out leaking this morning. Now it's all good. On this side. And on this side. It's completely dry. It's dry around here in the back too. There's no water leaking. Nothing dripping. So I would say that's a good day. And I definitely scuffed up all the cleaning she did on there but I mean it is what it is so now I just got to put the top back on and it'll be good to go thumbs up oh <laughs> don't forget to like share and subscribe improvise real quick put the light like it's super hot so I put it behind there to dry any kind of water any moisture that's back there but yeah perfect while I'm sitting here waiting for this thing to dry out fun fact for so you guys can know plumbing is one of the highest paying profession you can have without a a, uh, a college degree, a master's, you know, with just a high school diploma. It is right next to automotive, right next to uh, transit, and uh, police. So um, a lot of people turn their nose on plumbing because it's dirty work, but you can make some decent money on um, doing plumbing because when your pipe is leaking, you need to get it done, you need to get it done. When your sewer is backed up, and you need to get it done, you need to get it done. So. You know, uh, that that's a definitely a good career to look into if you um if you have no interest in going to college. Finish cleaning up, let this thing dry out back there so it doesn't turn into any mold. And um yeah, for the most part, you know, uh works good. Handle works great, everything flushes. Uh just gotta let it dry out, clean up some more, and um yeah man. Good job.